You gotta learn from your losses, just the victory, baby. I've done it all and seen it all, it's just the victory, baby. You gotta see the silver lining, it's a victory, baby. If it benefits, yeah, no, no. Uh, if you want greatness, it takes time. I know I'm anxious, just pay me no mind. What's up, team? It's your boy Cal with another one, as usual. Before we even get started, smash that like button. Make sure you share, subscribe to the channel. Help me out. I'm two out. Um, two thousand hours away from starting to get paid from YouTube. You know, and this is what this is about. You know, I'm not charging you guys for anything for this information. So help a brother out. And I really just got in the car, and I don't even have my keys. So, what's going on today? So, we're going to talk about um, the uh, getting your preliminary inspection done. So, uh, the preliminary inspection will show you, uh, will tell you everything that needs to be done um, with your, uh, er tell you everything that needs to be done with your property. So, um, if it needs uh, all the permits you need to pull and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> you're supposed to get that done um, when you purchase your property, like uh, in the beginning. Um, I didn't do that because in the past- You already held? It doesn't have to be. Oops, sorry about that. In the past, I didn't, I really didn't need to do that because I didn't need, to be told what uh, I needed to get done with the properties. You know, I knew what permits I needed to pull and stuff like that. But um, that was back in the day. And, you know, the land bank now is very, uh, very strict on um, having the building and safety department um, come at least once to the property. So, um, I scheduled the preliminary inspection and because I have a multi-dwelling unit uh, so two family flats and up I believe well I don't know about mine but multi-dwelling units you have to pay uh, is three hundred and fifty five dollars and for single-family homes I believe is uh, two hundred and fifty dollars <throat> and uh, you pay that you can pay it online and um which i did everything online uh but we recently had a flood in the city of detroit uh like a real bad rain so when i called on uh called the telephone number uh from the building the safety department they were telling me that they weren't doing any more inspections and you know me i'm like when my realtor told me like how much my property was worth, I'm like, uh, let me go ahead and get this, get my house, uh, you know, get this inspection done, you know. So, um, but you know, um, this property here is going to be a, uh, a definitely a testimony to that the Detroit Land Bank does work with you. You know, if you need more time, they give you more time. So as you know, I've been probably about a year in with this property and we had everything you could think of ha go wrong with the property, um, especially dealing with the water line, which that was the unforeseen um, uh, thing that happened with this property because if the water line uh, wasn't gonna get repaired by the water company, I was gonna give the property back to the city, uh, but we got that worked out. So, you know, we're, we had a late start, but as some of you know, um, I bought two more properties after that. So, um, you know, so that is, is what it is. So I'm heading over to the heading over to the apartment building to meet up with the inspector, um, which he's going to go through, look at everything, and tell me everything that I need to get to get the property up to code. What's up, guys? So hey, I just got here at the property. So. Let me show y'all where we at right now in this process. So I got the porch halfway formed up. <clears throat> so when I had blocked it up, 
I had I filled it filled it in with debris. <clears throat> debris and um I actually didn't want to lose any um cement when I uh pour or whatever. Um this is just right here, just temporary. I just set it up here like this, but um I gotta put some screws in right here. It's coming up right here. I gotta put some screws in. Can't believe I forgot to put screws right here. I gotta put some screws in right there. But uh <clears throat> everything looks pretty good. It's gonna be four four feet. No, four inches of uh concrete that's gonna be poured. <sighs> I'm gonna try to fix that here, this steps here. Then um, the city hasn't, the water company still hasn't came in and gave me a, a walkway. So I think I might make one of those too. Like make a walkway to the street. Um, but yeah, so. <clears throat> so now, uh, waiting on the city inspector um <clears throat> i'm gonna give you guys the number for this the um for the people that are dealing with actively dealing with the uh the building uh need the uh detroit um <clears throat> it's detroit uh building and safety their telephone number is 313-628-2451 and if you want to schedule your preliminary inspection you'll press option one then press option two <clears throat> so that'll get you to the proper representatives because a lot of people have a hard time including me of getting to the right person <laughs> um which was a pain in the butt because if you don't press the right option you uh He won't you 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 uh it'll hang up the phone on you. Yep, but <clears throat> oh man, so oh well I end up getting the drywall for downstairs. And y'all know that contractor in the beginning that I said was supposed to be doing <clears throat> doing the work or whatever. He got fired so bad. So guys, you know, and this is one of the things you guys are gonna learn dealing in this game. You know, um, you know, when you're a small entity like like me, you know, um, <clears throat> I mean, you try to help people out, and that's what I did. You know, I tried to help guy dude out, and um, I told him I said, you know, hey, how about this? We, you know, trade rent for. I mean, you know. So you could have somewhere to stay just put you know just you know work on a work on a property every once in a while you know what i'm saying and as you guys know that was in like february and we're practically um it's august and Dude ain't do <laughs> dude ain't do nothing. You know, and I done referred dog out <clears throat> a whole bunch of work. He ain't, he ain't do anything. Like, you know, guys, so I'm not gonna show you everything here, but you can see the walls. <clears throat> the walls look exactly the same from when he he did all this back in like February you know and didn't do anything else you know he asked me for plaster he asked me for one you know some more plaster and didn't do anything then this room here doesn't even have <laughs> drywall nails i mean screws he used a staple gun so you know <clears throat> and then on top of that you know guys i have we have water heat i put, hooked up a furnace for him you know, I went and sp spent money on the furnace. You know, the bathroom is not done. So, yeah. <clears throat> and it took him, 
Like when he got back here, he just man, he just did some BS. Like literally, just straight up BS. So, guys, that's that's what it is. You know, I did need a body in here, so you know that was one of the things. But <clears throat> you know, it is what it is. Um, but it's not stopping anything. I just had to tell him, hey, I had to cut ties. You know, I had to tell him, hey, bro, you know, this ain't working out. <clears throat> it's a whole Facebook blow up, you know, but it's one of the things that happens, um, happens in this game, you know, uh, you have to cut ties with people, you know, and, um, so it went from there. So now we, we, we just going to get it. Uh, <clears throat> I got my cousin here, you know, uh, me and him, we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna be teaching him some things on how to do this type of work. And, um, we're gonna, uh, the game, the action plan is, uh, we're gonna complete, we're gonna complete a, um, hold on. Hello? No, I ain't not. <clears throat> What's going on? You can come through. You can come through, bro. You can come through. Ain't ain't no biggie. You can be here. What you mean? Oh no, that ain't happening. I got flip flops on. Okay, what's up, guys? So uh, the inspector came out. Definitely a different experience, um, but it actually went pretty good. Um, he actually said I'm doing a pretty good job uh, as far as when he looked at everything. Um, so. Um, of course I have to schedule my homeowner's permits, uh, for the property, um, because of the work I did. So, um, and, uh, we're just going to go from there. So it went pretty good. Um, the guy, he just came in, he took pictures. He's going to, uh, and then basically it takes the, they take the, he takes the pictures, goes home and then he writes the report off of what, you know, what he's, what he's seen for us off his pictures. And uh, we go from there. It's a real cool guy. Uh, real good um, experience. Kind of was a little nervous because I didn't know what to expect. But uh, it worked out pretty good. Um, but yeah, so... <sighs> um, if you have watched up to this point, um, you know, I really I wanted to say I thank you uh, again for watching and supporting my channel. As I stated before, um, 2,000 hours. Well, you're supposed to have a total of 4,000 watch hours um to monetize on youtube and i'm at um i'm at 2000 so i need another 2000 so uh if you guys can help me reach that um you know that landmark even if you know you know uh you know i appreciate you guys if you can watch the video to the end you know um and if you haven't made it made it to the end which we're at the end now i really appreciate you love you guys um I do a lot of live videos because they're, they're, you know, are easier to do. So, you know, a lot of, I may be dropping a lot of information on a live video. So if you get a notification, make sure you got that notification bell, because if you get a notification, I'm dropping some jewels, you know? So, um, all right, you all have a good rest of your day. Stay blessed, stay positive. Um, I think I'm going to do another video. The next couple videos, one video is going to be about, uh, the land bank made a, um, a big change to the compliance and the compliance if you don't know what that is as far as after you purchase a property you have to follow their you know particular rules and the stages and they call it compliance and when you achieve compliance and that's when they release their interest off the property um, they made a big change that's a game changer and this whole process and then also I was going to talk to you guys about um, what else you know, I totally forgot, but just be looking out for it. All right. Take it easy.